بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الاحباب the believer to the believer is like a building or a structure and they strengthen one another they support one another and likewise it is like a tree the believer is like a tree or a plant or a flower in which each individual part is essential for the whole and a sustenance for the whole and this is how this is the example of the mu'min ayul ahbab so when we hear and see that our brothers are being oppressed and harmed and tormented that we should feel that and we should want to be of assistance to them and if nothing else through supplication supplicating to your lord to grant them relief an abdullah bin amr ibn as radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma an nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala al muslim من سلم مسلم من لسانه ويده والمهاجر من هجر ما نهى الله عنه متفق عليه عبد الله ابن عمرو بن عاص رضي الله تعالى عنهما reported that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the believer or the muslim is the one who the Muslims are safe from his tongue and from his hand and the one the immigrant is the one who immigrates or flees from that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim ayul ahbab not speaking ill of your brothers and sisters in Islam especially if they are known to be from ahl sunnati wal jamaa and in general not to speak ill of people without the right to do so meaning that if a person is deviant and there are present a harm to the community then it becomes an obligation for someone to speak out against that individual or that group or sect but in general the muslim is the one who the other muslims are safe in their honor from his tongue meaning he won't slander them he will not curse them he will not backbite them but he'll speak khair goodness or keep silent and likewise The messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam pointed out in this hadith that the muslim is the one who the other believers are safe from his his hand meaning that he will not harm them physically so not only is it with the tongue but even more so with his hand he will not raise his weapon against his brothers and sisters as we see what's going on in the north of yemen in damaj Is this the case? Are these people believers in Allah and followers of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the Shia who shoot and kill the children and do not allow medication and food and provisions to reach the children and the women and who attack people who are students who are there to study Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion and spread it وعياذ بالله من ذلك وعياذ بالله منه ايها الاحباب so the muslim the muslims are free from the harm of other muslims and the one who migrates for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the muhajir is the one who flees or avoids that which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited So be of the muhajirin those who avoid the prohibitions of Allah azza wa jalla 
and who enjoin the good and forbid the evil, and who exhibit taqwa Azza wa Jal. And as the ulama, they say, taqwa Azza wa Jal is doing the things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded, observing His commandments, and avoiding His prohibitions. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those people who avoid the haram and enjoin the khair. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our brothers and sisters wherever they may be feeling harm and oppression and our brothers and sisters in Damaj specifically and in Syria and wherever they're feeling the harm at the hands of the Shia and anyone else who wishes to do them harm. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.